One day we'll never forget was the last heat ever for Taj Burrow, which went down earlier today. Strider, you were in the water for this, which is uh, easily one of the heats of the year, the heat of the year, but maybe one of the heats of all time when you consider what Taj has done in his career at every venue around the world, former runner-up for a world title, and taking on John John Florence, who's always the guy to beat in hollow left-hand conditions. You know, it was so exciting because I knew we were going to get it from John John, but to have Taj come out of the gates and just get it on and say, that's right, I'm here to play. The guy was coming out of barrels, he's bashing the lip. He was having so much fun out there. He would get on a ski, put his head down, and laugh to himself every time he got on that ski. It was crazy, putting away nines, just going nuts. It was so cool to see somebody surf that well coming off the backside of the career. I just love it, he's just so pumped. So impressive to see these guys go blow for blow pots lead change started trending in the booth. Every yep. time they caught a wave, we had a lead shift, starting with John to get things going early, then to Taj Burrow to continually answer. Yeah, you know, when John dropped that 9.4, I thought, uh-oh, here we go, it's going to be a, you know, a steamroll, and Taj just came back fighting. I mean, he, he caught some incredible waves. I think there was one there through the mid part of the heat that if he could have slowed down a bit more, I think it would have been a 10-point ride. This one right here, this was the deciding factor in my eyes anyway. Came flying out of the tube, sort of a little bit of a claim and then did that right there. I mean, there was plenty of wave left. John finished his waves off. Taj didn't. He needed a, a 9.56. He got a 9.4. Oh. Had he finished that, did a big carving maneuver, finished that wave off, I think he would have got it. You know, yeah. and it's just those little things at such a high level that you need to do. But look at that, I mean, two wave total. Look at those scores, This man. guy's retiring. I think that, that, <laughs> that surfing is going to be relevant in years to come. I mean, this kid's retiring. Why? Because he can, not because he has to. Hats off to him. Well done, Taj. Beautiful work Taj. by Taj Burrows. Just crushing it. Incredible. Taj had an 8, a 9-2, an 8-6, a 7-3-3, a 9-4. Wow. To almost turn that one against John John. Taj said it was a dream scenario as a send-off, getting perfect waves with a guy that was going to push him in John John Florence. And half the tour was out in the water to celebrate his final heat of his career. Let's hear from the top 34 on their reactions to Taj Burrow. TB, what an amazing career, mate. You've always been one of my favorite surfers. Congratulations to moving on to the next part of your career, being a dad. Um, I wish you all the luck in that, because it's much harder than surfing. <laughs> uh, probably my favorite Taj moment or time traveling with Taj was when he won Trestles. Um, we had a really great week, and uh, it was really fun staying in Trestles. I got a result, and he got a result, and we had a pretty fun night. And I think that's probably my most memorable event with him. Yeah. There's been lots of other moments, probably not um, able to mention them on, on this. <laughs> I don't know, I've done a couple trips with him with Billabong and stuff. I did one to Lakey Peak that was pretty special. He got really good waves and um, he's just always been such a legend to me and all his videos and movie sections have just uh, psyched me up for forever and ever so I don't know, he's going to be really missed and um, I don't know the best one though, that's so hard. Uh, maybe this week will be the best one, <laughs> it's yet to come. He's still like a grom, you know, he just like frosts out any kind of conditions, you know, anywhere around the world, lefts, rights, reefs or beach it breaks, he's just a total frother, he just shows up, looks at the waves and he's just psyching, so yeah, it's going to be a bummer to lose him, he's just, he's had an amazing career and I think he definitely deserved to have won a world title and can't cry for the guy because he did some of the best surfing that we've all ever seen and huge inspiration and put out some of the best videos so gonna miss him a lot and he's, he's always been a good time. Ever since I first got on I think he was the, the first guy to ever come up and be remember my name and be like yeah let's go for a surf and um, it'll suck not having him there but I'm excited for this week it should be a good send off. Watched a lot of his videos pretty much every one of his heats and so it's gonna be a big change for sure but um, I'm sure he's got some great things planned for himself, him and his family, and um, you know, I don't think this is going to be his last event, so uh, you know, his last competitive year. I think he's, you know, competitive by nature, so I think we'll see more of him for sure. Taj has been incredible, you know, he's been a huge inspiration for me ever since I was a Grom. Um, you know, he got on tour so early, um, you know, so it sort of gave us all our young guys hope. Um, and. You know, just, just he's just the internal grommet. He just is non-stop having fun. I think he's, if you if you panned out who has had the most fun over over all their years on tour, you'd probably have to pick Taj. You know, he's always frothing out and uh, 
you know, I just want to wish him all the best in, in whatever he does in the next chapter and uh, excited to see and, uh, yeah, hopefully get on some surf trips with him. <laughs> An amazing tribute from the best surfers in the world reacting to Taj Bro hanging up the jersey after basically two decades of dominating the sport and it just really felt like Taj did pro surfing the right way. Winning events, hunting down world titles, making movies and he was always so entertaining to watch. Absolutely. I mean, he, he took aerial surfing to the next level. He was innovative. I mean, he created a lot of different moves and, and inspired generations upon generations of kids. So hats off to you, Taj. You think he's going to come back, Strider, or is he going to leave it right there? Jordy's thinking he's going to make a comeback. I mean, comeback or not, the kid went mad. He had a great time ever since back in the day when we went on trips to the Mentales and, you know, to today. He's just still smiling. I Watching the, his expression on the ski after all of his waves today just said it all to me. Yeah. He's stoked, he's happy, he's in a great place, so congratulations, Taj. What a special way to hang it up. Thank you so much, Taj, for all the amazing memories. You can check out a beautiful timeline on one of the best careers of all time on WorldSurfLeague.com and check out the heavy round four matchups. The final 12 is set. Join us back here, local time, 7.30 a.m. for Don Patrol. Enjoy the rest of your day and take it easy.